Hey there, Steve Gamash with another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. And what we have this time is the Makoto Kurosaki uh, Rusei Guto 210mm knife. So this line of knives has Aogami, our blue paper super reactive high carbon steel as its core cutting steel in the center. Heat treats around probably 62, 63 Rockwall in that coarse steel. The construction of three layers on either side of that harder coarse steel, you've got a soft stainless non-reactive cladding. And that cladding does cover the top of the spine, which is nicely polished, by the way. So you've got reactive steel at the edge, but the rest of the knife is stainless for lower maintenance. The weight and dimensions can vary a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one's 146 grams or 5.1 ounces. The edge length is right about 210 on the money, which is eight and a quarter inches in the cutting edge. And the overall length is about 355 millimeters or 14 inches. The spine thickness on these are they're fairly thin knives all the way through. So I just measure about 2.1 millimeters all the way down until you hit the grind which is fairly generous, so they thin up nicely towards the very tip, which gets really skinny. Nice performing knives these are. Um, and the uh, grind at the edge is really thin as well. So as I said, they're excellent performing knives. I did play around with the 240, which was a really nice performer. This should be even better probably, definitely equal to. The uh, blade height is 47 millimeters, so you've got plenty of clearance there for a cutting board for your fingers. Handles are a bit unique. They're octagonal. They're made out of maple with a red pack of wood, so really cool look to that. Uh, nice fit and finish on the handles. They're octagonal. And uh, nice tight finish on the uh, handle install where it goes into the handle. The... Um, Circumference is about 75 millimeters or three inches where about the the two materials meet which is pretty standard handle size for this type knife You can see they've got a bit of a unique shape to the choil into the um, Neck of the knife you can see a forward sweep to that heel area that choil area and um, nicely polished spine Makoto always does a really nice job on his finish work. He puts a lot of time into this and it definitely shows so nice polished on the spine as well and i'm sorry the choil into the neck and, and the spine so really nice fit and finish work on these edge i'd say six to seven out of ten on my scale for out of the box edges so nice out of the box edge here's the beauty shot so you can see there's uh hand chiseled or uh engraving kanji on there and they've got a brushed or hairline finish on the blade flat You've got a frosted finish on the grind of the knife down towards the coarse steel peeking out from the edge. And there's your cutting bevel there, the shiny part right on the edge. So real pretty blade. Nicely finished, nice clean grinds on these, very straight. So this is the left side of the blade as you'd be holding it. Real pretty blade. If I can duplicate that. Eh, the lighting's different on both sides, but... So, very nice knife. Uh, balance point on this is right about there. So, for me, it's a little bit in front of the pinch grip. So, even though the, the, it's a little over five ounces, it gives you a little bit of that weight forward uh, balance bias. And that kind of helps you get a feel for having a little bit of mass to it. Um, what else here? Let's see. Let's take a look at it on the cutting board. These are very nice offerings. So let's take a look at the profile. You can see it's fairly just continuous belly. There's not really a ton of flat on it. So here is, it kind of rolls into the heel there and then kind of an average type belly, not super aggressive, but I can get pretty high on this. So it'll rock really well. Not a pure chopper, but rock great. Push pull cuts, glide cuts, that kind of stuff. But just a well-crafted knife, great performance. Um, super nice Algami super uh, core steel, <laughs> super super, but great core steel that has a, a nice edge retention. Doesn't patina, uh, it's not re too reactive. It has the Algami super, the AS has some more alloying elements to it, so it's known to be a little bit less reactive than some of the other blue steels. Uh, but just a real nice package. So this is the Makoto Rusei Guto 210 millimeter knife.